What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm gonna be wholesaling real estate live in front of you. I'm gonna be calling motivated sellers, trying to lock up wholesale deals, and I'm even gonna call some cash buyers, trying to sell some of the deals that we have under contract. That being said, this video is gonna be value packed because you're gonna be watching me run my wholesaling business step by step. So make sure you stick around from the beginning all the way to the end of the video and watch the whole thing because it's gonna be value packed. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. But with that being said, guys, let's get after it today, making these phone calls. First off, before we get started, I wanna show you exactly what tools and resources that I use to run my wholesaling business, and then we will get started calling. Before I get started wholesaling real estate live in front of you, I wanna show you exactly what tools and resources I use when I'm wholesaling. So first off, when I'm sending an offer, I wanna make sure that you guys are using the same contracts that I use when I send an offer. So if you go to jacobblank.com slash free, there will be a link down below in the description for this. You'll be able to download my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free. So first off, make sure you go get that. The next thing and the main thing that I'm gonna be using in this video is my CRM. It is my client relationship management system. So every single motivated seller that I'm working with is housed in this system. And this system handles your full wholesaling business. And it does so many amazing things. Let me go ahead and actually jump into the CRM and show you some of it. So there's all these different apps that handle each different part of your business, like your seller leads, your transactions, your dispo offers, your cash buyers, title companies, team members, key performance metrics, and so much more. But the main app that I'm gonna be using in this video is the Seller Leads app. And by the way, guys, if you want a full demo of this system, all you have to do is go to wholescalecrm.com and you'll be able to get a full demo of this system for free. There's a link down below in the description for that. I'm gonna just be going over the Seller Leads app for you guys to see. So when I'm calling motivated sellers, I'm gonna be working right here in the Seller Leads app in the CRM. And basically, when you go out there and conduct marketing to find motivated sellers, once you find a motivated seller, they flow directly into the system and a seller lead profile is created for each and every motivated seller that you're working with. All their contact information, their name, address, their phone number, email, is all gonna be stored here. The team member in your company that's working the lead is gonna be assigned to it. All the Zillow information is gonna automatically feed through from Zillow. It's gonna keep track of what marketing channel did this lead come from. Was it telemarketing? Was it a website lead? Was it SMS? Was it direct mail? It's also going to keep track of how many times you've tried to contact the seller. And each time you try to contact the seller and you weren't able to reach them, at the click of a button, it's automatically gonna send them a text and an email letting them know you tried to reach them. Next, it's gonna keep track of how many written and verbal offers you've made per week and per month. So that way you know how many offers you're making. It's also gonna categorize and put each seller into the bucket that they belong in. Is it a new lead? Is it interested? Is it not interested? Is it dead? So that way all your leads get organized by what status they're in. It's also gonna categorize them again by their temperature. Are they hot, warm, cold, or dead? It's also gonna organize your whole database and each seller is gonna go into the proper bucket for their motivation, which is so important. Are they a tired landlord? Was it death, divorce, probate? What is the reason that they're looking to sell the property? It's gonna organize your leads like that. And then guess what? It's gonna automatically follow up with your sellers for you. Yeah, this system is gonna send texts and emails on an ideal sequence following up with your sellers for you. And then guys, when you're ready to send the seller an offer, no longer do you have to fill out the contract word by word. All you have to do is input a few pieces of information, click one button and it is gonna send the offer to the seller for them to sign so that way you can send more offers out, send more contracts out and lock up more deals. And as you're working with the seller on the right hand side, you're able to take all your comments and notes. So when I'm asking the seller about the condition of their property, I'm taking all my notes there on the right hand side. So that is just the seller leads app that handles your acquisition side of your business. Again, there is all these other apps that handle every other part of your business in this whole scale CRM. So I highly recommend that you go get a full demo of it at wholescalecrm.com. Again, there will be a link down below in the description for that. So when I'm calling sellers and talking to them, I'm primarily gonna be working in that. And then once I need to look up their property to figure out what their property is worth and to find all the information about it, I'm gonna be using PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one wholesaling tool. It lets you search up any property across the country and it's gonna give you every piece of information about that property at your fingertips. So that way you can sound like an expert when you're talking to the seller. 
you're going to be able to see the bed bath count, square footage, county information, tax information, uh, who owns it, all the information you could possibly need about the property so that way you can sound like an expert when talking to them. Also, it's going to let you pull the comparable sale data in the area. So you're going to be able to see what properties that are similar to the one you're looking at are selling for and then from there be able to calculate your offer. Which guys, you need to be able to see what other properties are selling for in order to get an accurate value of what the property is worth and then from there calculate your offer. PropStream also lets you pull motivated seller lists, conduct marketing, and do so much more. Guys, there's a link down below in the description for a seven day free trial of PropStream. Now once I figure out what the property is worth based on running comps on PropStream, I then need to calculate my offer. And for that, I use my offer calculator. My offer calculator is available for purchase at jacobblank.com shop. There's a link down, down below in the description for that. This is what it looks like. Basically, when you find your comps on PropStream, you're gonna go ahead and plug those comps in on the calculator. You're gonna put in how much money you wanna make. You're gonna choose how much repairs does the property need, minor, average, major, or full remodel. You're gonna choose what market you're in, and then boom, it's gonna run all the math for you and calculate everything for you and spit out your MAO, your maximum allowed offer to make the seller. And it's also gonna give you an offer range to make the seller. So guys, if you're struggling to calculate what, what to offer the seller, if you're struggling to figure out what to offer the seller where you're gonna be able to make money on the deal, I highly recommend that you go get this offer calculator from jacobblank.com shop. So those are the main things that I'm gonna be using when it comes to talking with motivated sellers and trying to lock up deals. And then the final thing that I wanna mention is guys, in these videos, sometimes I go ahead and I work on selling deals and I work on finding cash buyers for the deals that we have locked up. And the main platform that I use for dispositions, for selling deals and talking to cash buyers and finding cash buyers is InvestorLift. InvestorLift is a platform that gives you access to over 2 million active cash buyers across the country. So when it comes to selling deals and talking to cash buyers, this is the main platform that I am using. Um, there is a link down below in the description for InvestorLift where you can get a discount as well. And I have a couple other videos on my channel going over the InvestorLift platform in detail. So if you wanna check that out, go and do it. But um, that pretty much covers it because in this video and in these calling videos, I call motivated sellers to try to lock up deals and I call cash buyers to sell deals. And these are the different tools, resources, and software that I'm using to do it. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump on the phone and start calling. All right, guys, let's start making these calls. All right, guys, let's get right to it. This first one that I'm going to be calling is in Missouri. Came in through Facebook 19 hours ago. Let's give it a call. dialing hello hey, hey James I'm, call I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on 7th Street that you requested on our website how you doing today I'm good, thank you. Awesome. So I just wanted to call and ask a couple more questions about the property and then make you the offer. Does that sound fair? Yeah, sounds fair. Perfect. So my name's Jacob with I Buy America. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and ask you a few things. So first off, how old is the roof on the property? You know, I really don't know. My brother passed away. He lived in it. And, uh, you said your brother? Yeah. Okay. And I, I, I was on the, uh, the uh, grant deed as a beneficiary. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, were you the only heir that the property goes to? So that way, you know, it'll be easy to sell. You no, know, I'm the only heir with my wife. Okay. Um, how long has it been vacant for? about a year. 
Okay. Does it have an air conditioning unit? It, it's a, a window uh, air conditioning okay. unit. As far as the condition, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? It needs some work. It needs some TLT. Okay. When's the last time you were there? Uh, December of uh, 2022. Okay. How much were you looking to get for it? 80000 80 Okay. As is, and it's, yeah. It's, you know, I, I, you pulled the stats on it or not, but it's one acre property. Yep, yep. Two bedroom, one bath. Let's see. Let's see here. I'm just looking at a few of the recent sales in town. How how far do you live from it? I live in California. Okay, gotcha. I you, used to live I used to live in Liberty, Missouri, for seven years. Do you have photos and of this I, property by chance? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. My, my wife is here. Awesome. Um, so just looking at what's been selling in the area, we probably have to be close, closer somewhere between 50 to 60 for it. Probably right around 50 because, I mean, there there's... A few, I mean, there's this one in decent, in pretty good shape, listed right now for sale for 65 And it's in pretty good shape. It's clean. Looks like they did some remodeling in the kitchen. It's on a little bit smaller of a lot. It's only on 32,000 square foot lot. So a little bit over half an acre. Um, would you consider something around 50? No, no, possibly. Okay. We're just calling. Yeah, we're 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 getting calls on it. Like you called me today. Yeah. We were talking yesterday with some someone. When are you guys so going to be getting ready to accept an offer? I guess. Well, I probably within a month. Okay. Maybe sooner. So if I was able to go into the finance department today and see how high I could get the offer up to in the 50s and sent that offer over to you in writing, is that something that you guys maybe would accept today or no? No, I don't think so. I, I, I have to, I'm, I'm counseling right now with a uh, administrator for the property, which is okay. going through probate right now. Got you. And so because of that, I have to talk to the administrator. So I can't, you know, say, oh yeah, I'll accept this amount. Uh, and I'm, I'm on the deed, I'm the, the owner of the property. Yeah, so you'd be able to accept an offer even though probate's not done yet. Yeah. But, but I guess you're but I guess you're wanting to wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well this it's, it's a little complicated. We've got some other things, you know, going with that property. So we're waiting for some feedback on it. Okay. All right, well, do you have a pen and paper handy so I can give you my information? Yes. Yeah. All right, perfect. So, again, my name's Jacob with iBuyAmerica.com. And my direct mm -hmm. cell phone number to reach me is, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's 480. 480. Yep, that's correct. And, and I'm somewhere between 50 to 60. Uh, we can get that offer more exact uh, once you guys are closer to getting ready to sell it. And uh, yeah, we buy it in as is condition. We pay all closing costs. There's no commissions. So that'll be net to you. And we're able to close within 21 days. 
All right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Well, you guys you have my time. info, so once you're ready, just reach out, and I'll follow up with you guys in a couple weeks. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank of you. course. You guys have a great rest of your day. Nice talking to you. Thank you. You too. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. Spencer. He, one of my sales guys wanted me to look at this deal. Spence. Let's pull it up. I'm doing it on the video. How much do they want for it? 260. Do they own it? Own it? No. They're wholesaling. Yeah. They want 260. Why do they want so low? I don't know. It's an eight week. Do they have photos? Where th they don't. They're doing yes photos on the hedge fund buyer where you can pull it up. For three eighty five and four thirty five, what do you think the ARV is? Three ninety. Three ninety. And how much? Two sixty. Yeah. It looks like it's. It needs work. It needs a new roof too. Those aren't. No, those aren't. Um, what the fuck is going on? Those aren't updated. I pulled. Okay, three. I'm gonna look. Let's see. Been in here twice. Looks like. Mm, that's a different address, right? Yeah. It's sellers flexible, they said. But it doesn't look real. Like, does that look like yeah. AI or something? Yeah. Yeah. These can't be real. It looks like it's staged. That's what I'm saying. Like elect but then the outside's real. <laughs> no, but the inside doesn't look like this, does it? No. I don't Did you ask them? I don't think so. Did you call and ask? No, because I didn't look at the pictures before, oh. and I already talked to this guy. Well, call and figure that out. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll write it up with an inspection period. But I'd rather have you talk to this guy, because I talked to him before about another. Alright, I'm gonna call this guy. Why does it say Sophia? I don't know. It goes to that company. This is like a deal we got referred to us. For calling Vortex Net Marketing. If you know your party's extension, you okay. may dial it at any station on a house or a property you want to sell. Please press two. But this seems weird, bro. Uh, this call may be monitored or recorded. You sure it's gonna go to him? Yeah, well, it did last time. What's his name? Hey, uh, my name is Jacob. I'm calling about your property there on 3525. Uh... Pensacola, yeah. Yes, sir. So I see you're looking to sell this. You want 265 for it. Um, the roof and the AC need replacement. I see there's some photos of the property here, and it looks like the inside of the property has been remodeled. Is that correct? Or are That's 100%. The... That's 100% correct? Yeah. Why did they remodel the inside but not do the roof and the AC? Well, it's just a matter of timing and just budget. You know how it goes for these things. Do you own the property or are you wholesaling it? No, I'm also a wholesale just like you. You're wholesaling it? Yeah, we have it under contract though. 
Okay. The photo. I have some new ones. I, have some, I know I've said this to you. I have some new ones coming up in Maryland at home. Okay. I don't know if you do that area, but yeah, we I'll do. We here. do all areas. Um, I'm I'm hedge nationwide. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 a hedge fund. I I think you submitted to uh, us at hedge fund. Uh. So, yeah. Okay. Well, so that's your name. You're what's your name again? My name's Jacob. Jacob. Uh, last name is blank, right? Or something like that. Yes, sir. That would be me. Yep. And we we work with uh, multiple different hedge funds. Yep. So this okay, this so, meets uh, our criteria. Is, what, perfect. I just want to know what is the best place to send you the deals, and that your your number directly is this one, so I can have fast access to send you deals and let you know about them. I'll send you an email. I'll text you an email address. That's our best way to get deals to us. Okay. Um, Beautiful. And uh, do you do you think on and off market or just on market? This just off market. Uh, off market. Off market. Off market. Okay. Yeah, Beautiful. Okay, go ahead. So these photos look electronically like staged, like the furniture in them isn't real, right? Uh, for that part, actually, I wouldn't be able to give you a hundred percent yes or no, but I do know that we have some people that visited the place, and uh, we just uh, we are actually at this asset for that part, and uh, whatever you show the pictures reflect whatever is in that. It's just weird, like it's remodeled, but you want two sixty five for it. And the roof, it's just weird they did a remodel, but the roof and the AC aren't, aren't done. I'm confused. No, actually, we have two houses like this. I know it's weird, but there's the, both of them. Uh, we have another one also on Appleton, and it's the same issue. Like, they didn't finish the renovation. It's the same situation for both places. Okay. So can, I know it's weird, can, but it's the fact. Do you, have any, do you have any wiggle room on the price? Well, let me know. Let me know what you got, what you have in mind. I'm thinking 255 uh let me see 255 and uh like is that something that you can close or are you just asking that's something we can close we do need a short inspection period though uh, yes yeah, so for the inspection actually we won't put any inspection on the agreement but we'll just let you visit it no problem well we 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 like to go under contract with a seven day inspection period can we do that yes sir. No, I understand, like a seven day to go see the place, right? When you say inspection, you're not talking about bringing the inspector. No, not bringing an inspector, but we need a seven day due diligence, at least a seven day due diligence period on the contract. I do diligence, yes, and that's what I was looking for, because sometimes people use the term inspection for yeah, yeah, different yeah. ways. Like, so then you understand that's why. But yes, no problem for that. For you to visit, it's all good. As long as you're serious, then you actually can send your EMD, it's no problem. We can send you everything. I'll yeah. just double check and confirm with you. Yeah, just to double check for the roof and everything else because I have so many houses, sometimes I get confused. But from what I remember for that one, I think that was the only thing. It's just the uh, AC and the, uh, okay. yeah, the pictures. Yeah. If, if, you can, if you can double check on that, that would be great. And then I'll send you the, the assignment contract. Um, and I'll put a seven day due diligence on here. We'll deposit earnest money after at the end of the due diligence. Is that the end? Okay, so no problem for that. So okay. uh, it's good. I can send it to you. Actually, we always send the, uh, the assignment as well. Don't worry about it. Just send me your email, text it to me, and uh, I'll text you back the exact answer for the roof and the AC and confirm the 255. Okay, and then uh, can we close on the 15th of April? Uh, that's 415 that's that's couple twenty can you make it like a little bit earlier is it possible because if we were, we were thinking like about 14 days so on the 10th on or before the 10th we could do the 15th can ask find out about the 15th and the 355 and confirm about the roof and the AC and then text me okay we like to use our our okay. contract if possible as well Okay, I'll send you hours because that's actually like we have so many deals and just to make sure because everybody has different contracts so then we're going to end up like reading every single contract from everybody that we do deals with. So we actually will send you whatever we got with the title company and everything. If there's something missing and whatnot, usually our contract is pretty uniform for any single basis. If there's something that you don't like and whatnot, then you can actually let us know what you want okay. to add on it. Okay, so sounds good. 
send everything over and then we'll go from there. Perfect. And I sent you, I believe, but I'm not actually 100% sure because I'm mixing all of it. I sent you one in uh, Inverness, Georgia. Did I send you that one? In Albany. What's that full address? 921 Inverness. 921 Inverness. Oh, yes. Inverness. E-N-V-E-R-N-E-S-S. How much do you want for this one? Uh, if I remember the Inverness, uh, what was it again? The pictures. We're aiming at like a, like the ARV is like 220 on that one or something like that. So uh, anything that's uh, in the ballpark of 100K, that's, uh, that's what we're looking for. So tell me what you would go for. Okay, that doesn't make sense though. This property just sold for three ninety nine in December of twenty. No, that that was a bundle. Yeah, no, that that was a bundle. But if you look at the area, there was like three houses actually bought at the same time. And uh, me myself, I also, I don't even know why uh, uh, Zillow put it at three ninety nine as well because at the end of the day, this is not the price for it. And even if you do the comp, there's nothing close to three ninety nine in that area. It's just that they bought three houses, so that's the total of all three houses together. Okay. But that one that we have was the biggest one, and the ARV for that one was like more or less 220. So you whatever. want how much? Uh, close to 100. Just tell me what price you would give. You can see the picture. We'd have to be. We'd have to be 75.80. What is it? We'd have to be somewhere around 75. 75. Now 75 would be like a stretch for us. Like actually, I have other offers to be honest with you. But like they didn't close yet and they didn't send an EMD. So the lowest I could go, to be honest with you, would be like around like 90 or 85,000. But 75 would Probably be the highest we could do would be 80. 80, well, 80 is a stretch. But actually, I'm going with 80. And like 80, that's going to be rough, to be honest with you. Well, you have but, it at uh, 75, right? So at 80, you're making five. And then I think it works for us. But I, I, I mean, I don't think we can pay more than 80. There's ones in... I'll check. If, you buy, if yeah. you buy both of them, then we might have a deal. If you actually can confirm that you're buying the Pensacola at 255 and this one at 80, then I can make a deal if you take both of them. Okay. All right. Well, find out about the Florida one and then text me. Beautiful. That's good. Then just make sure you send me your numbers because I have a bunch of deals all the time. So if you actually buy deals like that, it's good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. We'll talk Beautiful. soon. Beautiful, my man. Thanks, man. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Some of that's Very not adding strange. up. Very yeah. strange. I would send uh, this guy. Let me look into that one. This one. Yeah, look into this one a bit more, and then we'll talk to him again, and then lock him up. But oh, we want to use our contract. But guys, we help people sell their deals to hedge funds. Um, we help people sell their deals to our cash buyers. We buy deals. I buy deals personally and fix and flip them. So if you want to send me your deals for help on them. Uh, go to jacobblank.com slash dispo. There's a link down below in the description for this. And one of my guys will call you, I'll call you, and we'll help you out. All right. Let's keep calling now. Back to me calling sellers. All right, I got a deal closing in North Carolina today for $5,000. It should be recorded any minute now. All right, this next one that I'm going to be calling is in Arkansas. We got this one signed actually already. So I'm moving on to the next one. All right, this next one's in North Carolina. Let's give it a ring.
leave your message for me. It's going to double dial. Leave your message for me. Sorry, mailbox is full. To send an SMS notification, we're going to send them a text and an email. Move on to the next one. This next one's in Florida. Hello? Hello. Hey, I'm calling about that offer for your property there on uh, 192nd. How you doing today? I'm doing fine. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I saw you did try to call us back, so I'm glad we're finally getting in touch now. Um, I wanted mm -hmm. to just call and ask a couple more questions about it and then make you the offer. Does that sound good? That sounds fine. Awesome. So, first off, what's the reason you're wanting to sell this property? Less property. I need less downsize. Downsize. Okay. I see you have this property listed on uh, the market, no. right? No. I don't have it listed with absolutely no one. I did a while back. Wanted to list it. The realtor was supposed to wait until after all the holidays. She never did. She did it before. Um, and I dismissed her. Basically... Got it. It's and still her, it's still active on the MLS. Well, she shouldn't have it on the MLS. Okay. Because I um have a proof that we did terminate our contract. Okay. Then now. How much do you want for it? I want two fifty. Um. Two fifty. Okay. Everything is brand new. Everything. You don't have to do nothing. Okay. And when I tell you it's brand new, it's brand new. Turnkey ready. I'm I'm living in it. I'm trying to get to a smaller place. Uh huh. I don't need such a big all uh, this four acres of land. Originally, my goal was to put a second home, rent that out, so everything would pay for itself. It might be too rural. It might be too rural for us. Oh, uh, you think so? I mean, there's a lot of. That place, let me tell you a little bit about O'Brien. Right next to McAlpin and Live Oaks. I've been in, here for five years and Live Oaks moved to O'Brien because I owned the land. Uh, there was so much of land there that nobody was buying it five years ago. Now, you, there's nothing left. Everybody are, are clearing, uh, putting homes. Some are building, some are putting double wide then. Yeah. And, and less than, like, since um, June of last year, that's when I hired the company to help me clear one acre. Yeah. That place is Quick question. Do, do you own any other properties? No, um, this is the last one. Okay, because I, I was going to try to search up another property in order to get this one to pull up. Um, yeah, I think I, I I don't think this one's ideal for what we're looking to buy, unfortunately. Okay. But I but That's I appreciate your problem. yep I appreciate your time today though, and uh, you have a good rest well, of your thank day. You. Yeah, of course. For the call, and I and I get it, and I understand. Um, I guarantee you, within the next six months, it's not gonna be as rural as everybody thinks. They just signed the contract with Walmart. Yeah. Walmart. To put a huge super Walmart on 129 
which it goes all the way from I-10 all the way down into Bradford, uh, O'Brien, and McAlpin. Yeah, that sounds uh, good. That, That'll be good. Yeah. Once that happens, it's over. Yep. There <laughs> you go. I'm not going to be able to catch anything here. There but, you go. Uh, no, I understand uh, you're probably looking for subdivisions. Yeah. Um, and if that's what you're looking for, my advice, and if you're looking here, is everybody from Miami, California, and Boston. This lady came from Boston just nine months ago, purchased 12 acres where I, right down the road from me. Put in her mobile home, um, and what she got it was for a steal. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't touch that for that price. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, and and uh, and I hope you get it sold soon for how much you're looking to get for it. I wish you the best. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. You have Bye. a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye. On to the next one. This one's in California. Calling a seller we already have under contract that's hard to deal with. Hello? David? Hello. Hey David, it's Jacob calling from the company. Hey David, it's Jacob calling from the company buying your property. How you doing today? Good, good. So I just wanted to call and can you okay, go ahead, Jacob. Yeah, I just wanted to call and give you a little bit of an update. Um that, that Matt and Parkland Abstract, they're working on it and they're gaining some traction on getting it clear to close. Um so we should have it ready to go here soon. Um so I just wanted to give you an update and then I also Jacob. wanted to Jacob, 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 can you please hold on? Yeah. I have another call. I think it might be them. Oh, okay. Go ahead and take that. The seller was calling back. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice Hello? Hey, I'm calling about the offer for your property on Sunrise Creek Road. How you doing today? What's your name, sir? My name's Jacob with iBuyAmerica.com. You filled out a form on our website requesting an offer. I just wanted to call, ask a couple more questions, and then make you the offer. Does that sound good? Yeah, I'm shopping many organizations, including your hedge funds and things of that sort. So I would uh, tell you a little bit about it. It's a suburb of Reno, Nevada, on five acres, 5,847 square feet, six bedrooms, five and a half baths, if you count the bath, full bath out by the pool spa. I'm downsizing. Um, things that I have done to the property to improve it, new well, brand new um, water heater, leaf filter gutters, um, a porcelain plank flooring on the three bedrooms on the entry floor that you come in on. Uh, some minor things that would need to be done is refresh the deck with painting and things because the sun in the winter kind of takes its toll on it and it needs it. Uh -huh. A little refresh on some walls in the house, not big parts of it, otherwise it's fine. Um, New screen front door and off the deck. I was going to put in some um, like pretty security doors out that you see at Lowe's and Home Depot for about $700 a piece. 
If you want new appliances, you could, but they all work fine. Just go to Lowe's and Home Depot for a few thousand. There's one part coming up from the uh, four-car garage landing that's about 150 square feet. I was going to take that carpet out and just either put down wood floors, a carpet, a new carpet, or um, tile. Um, Okay. Putting some new lighting in some of the bathrooms, things like that. So that kind of gives you an idea. How much are you looking it. to get for it? Um, the house on Lovato.com as of today is valued at 1.5 million. I own 907. I'm looking for 1.2 to 1.25 or close to that. We probably have to be closer to a million. Just. Wouldn't work, sweetie. But thanks for your call. Yeah. What's Bye the best? Now. What's the best price you would do? I would I would do 1.2 or close to it. Would you consider anything closer to 1.1? No. Okay. But 1.8 maybe. I mean 1. Point, you know. Yeah. 1.18 that kind of thing. Uh, no. We, yeah, we'd have to be closer to one. So like one, one million fifty thousand maybe would be the most we could do. Yeah, not interested. I've had higher offers, but thank you. Bye-bye. What's the best offer you've gotten? What's the best offer you've gotten? She's very rude. Very rude. <laughs> She's very rude. On to the next one. This next one's in West Virginia. The seller's calling back. Trying to call him. Why is my phone not ringing? Four, two, three. Tired. Two, three, nine, five, zero, five. This next one's in West Virginia. Let's give it a ring. calling to give you the offer for your property give me a call back thanks we're gonna double dial <laughs> why is it not ringing We're going to send a text and an email. Going to move on to the next one. This next one's in California. This was a novation where I was going to help the guy sell it. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please, try your... I'm gonna double dial.
I'm sorry, the person we were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. On to the next one. This one's in Casa Grande, Arizona. The person you are calling cannot accept calls at this time. We're sorry for any inconvenience. Not sure why. It's not working. The person you are calling cannot accept calls at this time. We're sorry for any inconvenience. On to the next one. One's in Iowa. I sent an offer on this one already for 25000 The person you're calling isn't accepting messages right now. What's going Why on? Why is nobody accepting calls right now? You're calling isn't accepting messages right now. Why don't you text us? We're gonna or send a text and an email. Thank you for calling US Cellular Voicemail. This next one's in Louisiana. <laughs> this one I already sent an offer on. I'm trying to get them to sign it. Please leave your message for seven one three four two nine zero zero. Hey, I was calling to, about the offer for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. We're gonna double dial. Please leave your message for seven one. On to the next one, no answer. This one's in Ohio. <laughs> Hello? Michael, are you there? Calling about the offer I made you for your property. How you doing? No answer, we're gonna double dial. <laughs> Four, two. I don't know why he's not answering anymore. What's going on? Let me try to call this guy with my cell phone.
not working. On to the next one. This one's in Mich Mississippi. Hey, I'm calling about the offer for your property on um, 6th Street. How you doing today? She filled out a form on our website requesting an offer, so I'm not sure why she's just hanging up like that. Doesn't make much I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail box that has not been set up much sense if you ask me I'm sorry but the person you called has a voicemail on to the next one this one's in South Carolina actually he wants me to wait till the end of the month to call him well it is like the end of the month so let's give him a ring, actually. Your call has and double dial. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Jimmy Snicket. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, call me back. Hey, call me back about the offer for your property. Thanks. On to the next one. Leave your message for three one six nine nine six eight. Sorry, mail. On to the next one. This one's in California. <sighs> Please leave your message for seven six 
zero five nine zero zero nine. Call me back about the offer for your property. This next one's in North Carolina. I'm sorry, but the party you have dialed could not be reached. Please check the... No answer. Going to send a text and an email. Move on to the next one. This one's in California. Please leave your message for Ornell Johnson. Call me back about the offer for your property. Thanks. I've been trying to follow up with him for a minute. On to the next one. Hello? Please leave your message for... Hey, I was calling about the offer for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. On to the next one. All right, guys, that's going to be the last call for this video. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You saw me wholesale real estate live in front of you. Call motivated sellers, deal with one of my sales guys, look at one of his deals, do a bunch of stuff. So I hope you found it valuable on your real estate journey. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me reach more people and grow the channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. And remember guys, there's links in the description down below that has every single tool and resource that I use for my wholesaling business. So make sure to check that out. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.